morning, Prof. Alu and members of EXCO. It gives me great pleasure to present to you my findings on using the invigilation software. Prof. Alu, uh, I will be talking about software called the invigilator. Now, I'm actually trying to mimic what happens with our invigilation that takes place in a face-to-face -face situation. The invigilation software is basically designed for overcoming risks associated with online assessments. Yesterday, you would have received an email from the invigilator support, and I hope you have read through my proposal, which was sent by Beulah about a week ago. But just to inform you that this component that I'm referring to with regard to the invigilation software ties in with our academic concepts of teaching, assessing, and learning. Last year, we went into emergency remote teaching, and we had to, you know, you know overnight, we had to basically turn from face-to-face -to, -face to teaching online, and we didn't consider what would happen in terms of our assessment methods. Our exams went from examinations to continuous assessment, and I felt that we needed to have measures in place to ensure that students were not copying. Anecdotal evidence indicates that yes, students were copying or they were in fact giving other students an opportunity to write for them and i just felt that we need to ensure our credibility so prof i went on term, terms of a research methodology or a structure of how i do it because i am a graduate in terms of postgrad research and i looked at what's happening currently in the market now unisa has software like this uh, rhodes university and there's uh, international they call it proctoring software. So my question was, how do I uh, you know, fill in this gap of teaching, learning, assessment? Teaching is done on MS Teams on Moodle. Uh, learning is done by the students online. And we need to sort out our assessments. That's where our gap is. The aim is basically to find out how we can mimic what happens face to face in terms of students being online and writing an assessment or an exam as such. So my question was, how do I do it? My methodology, I looked at Prof conducting a pilot study. Now, I've, this, is, this is a good couple of months in the making. I've uh, given, given my students access to the software, and thanks to Yuri and to Romano for them to give it to me free of charge. I've actually asked for money and funding for that. I've spoken to staff. I've had a meeting with staff on Friday. We had a short discussion with the IS department. And on uh, Monday, I had a small orientation with my students. Tuesday, I implemented it, and now we're going to talk about the data analysis. But I'll leave that up to Yuri to talk about that in terms of what he's going to be doing and what we picked up to be, in our case, an infringement where a student was talking during the online assessment. So, Prof, I've asked for funding for this. I've asked that the department and our faculty ensure that we do it. I've done my investigation. I've created my classroom, I've done the assessment. This is our time to discuss it and let's reflect and see what we can come up with in terms of going forward. Prof, I thank you. I hand you over to uh, Yuri and Romano and Nick. Thank you.